everybody, OCD Mikey here for another edition, and I'm doing the preface to this video. First of all, if you have not signed up and given me a thumbs up and subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to this channel and I'll keep on making content. Uh, thanks so much for your support. Now, what I'm going to talk about is somebody's product today. I knew, I've known about this company for a long time, and uh, I was commenting about them on a live stream about some crazy tweak that they had done years ago, and the guy was watching my live stream, and he contacted me and said, hey, I've got my newest product, it's made for CDs, let me send you some and go ahead and listen to it. Now, as you guys know, um, I don't take money to listen to anything. If anybody, and I'm not going to buy it to listen to your shit, so... If you want to send it to me, send it to my ass. And once I have it, I can't, then I have to do something about it because it's sitting here and you sent it to me. Uh, I will put it on my channel and I will listen to it within reason. You have to clear it with me first. But I said, fine, go ahead. We'll do a little, I'll make a little content for my channel. Um, so this is not something I'm, I got paid for. This is not something I sell. Um, <clears throat> in the end, if I make a recommendation, that's between you and the company, and I'm doing it for free at no at no charge. So um, I just wanted to make that clear uh, before we go into this, and thank you so much. So let's carry on. What's up, everybody? OCD Mikey, Hi-Fi Guy here for another edition of The Mikey Show, your favorite guy on YouTube. And uh, anyways, I am going to do something really cool. Today, I will introduce to you Machina Dynamica. That's what I'm calling it. I know that Jeff calls it Machina Dynamica, but that's just a little bit too white boy for me when something is spelled like it's French or something like that. So Machina Dynamica, I'm cooler that way. <laughs> You're cooler that way. Anyways, um, Machina Dynamica, whatever the hell you want to call it. Um, guy named Jeff Kate, who I have told you about before in this industry, who is um, in the, shall we say, um, quantum area of uh, tweaks. There's a couple of these companies, a couple of these guys, and they design this wild stuff. And they go really, really, really into the minutiae, if you will, of how stuff works. And they go into the micro world, the, the nano world, and they start uh, turning wrenches and stuff and making things better. Today, what we are going to talk about is a CD spray. It's not labeled, and I've got Kleenex here. These are unscented Kleenex. You can't use the ones with scenting or with aloe or with any of that. Let's see. Uh, ooh, it's got an interesting smell to it. It's not alcohol. There's a little bit of alcohol. A little bit. It smells like toilet cleaner. <laughs> This is like what I smell like if you clean the toilets. It's a little bit fruity. Um, if we shake it, it gets a little bubbles in it. So there is, uh, I don't know the term for that in physics, but whatever that term is, it bubbles up. Okay, it foams. Um, we're going to spray this on a CD and clean. And as I understand it, this is what Jeff described to me. He said that CD uh, 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 plastic, okay, as opposed to optical glass, Optical glass is like, you can see straight through it. Uh, uh, what is it? Poly, uh, um, um, polycarbonate, most likely, which CDs are made out of, does not have 100% visibility. It has like 92 or something like that because it has a porosity in the layer of the plastic, which is filled in by this, uh, this substance, whatever is in here, this compound. We will spray it onto the CD. We will wipe it off with a uh, circular motion and at a medium pace. And um, we will determine if it changes the sound of everything. The idea is it makes the laser, instead of the laser hitting the plastic and scattering, in the case of the porosity, it fills those pores and makes the laser go through in a more efficient manner, as I understand it. So we're gonna try this. First, we're gonna listen to the CD and then we're gonna spray it, treat it, and then we're gonna listen to it afterwards. And then I've got a second step that he sent me that's even crazier. So hold on. Okay, so here we go. I went through my CDs. As you can see, right up on top of the DAC there, I've got the AA CD transport with the CD up on top. Um, and I went through CDs to try and find my CDs. You can see one, some stacked on top of the, the um, tube trap there on the right. And um, in typical fashion, 
uh, uh, when you listen to CDs, and this is what I remember, there are all these uh, damn um, audiophile CDs, you know? And I started bringing out a stack of them and put them in, and it's all just the weirdest damn music, man. No music I can relate to at all. Um, so I found some Beatles. Hopefully, uh, YouTube won't kill the Beatles uh, 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 music. And we'll listen to it and see how it sounds. And then I'll rotate that out with some other things. But we're going to listen to the music first, um, untreated. Now I will take this, I will shake it, and I will do one, two, three, four, five. Make sure it's nice and covered. Okay. Now he said take it and do circles around. Okay. Like this. Circles. Around the disc, and uh, you know it's weird to me is that you use Kleenex, and I don't think Kleenex is a lint-free product. Um, but I don't see any lint on here. It sounds like it made an improvement, and where I hear it is in the vocal. I hear it in the mid-range. Um, it seems clearer through the mid-range. It's not like it got more detail. It's like it mellowed it out, actually, which is weird. It seemed like it was a little more threadbare before, and now it has just a little bit more of meat on the bone or a little bit more tonality in the vocal. And that's where I'm hearing it in the piano and stuff like that. So this is uh, very, very interesting. Um, I'm going to try the next process now and come back to you all. So hold on. Okay, kids. So here we are back again. Now we're ready to uh, put the rubber to the road, so to speak. Here's the Machina Dynamica, <laughs> Machina Dynamica, Quantum Demagnetizer. Okay, and this appears as though it's a block of wood. It looks like it's a two-by-two. Two. Um, and uh, we have this thing, make no mistake, that hologram label and whatever is under there is very much an active part of what this piece does. We have a stack of Neo Mags. We have something under there which might be double-sided tape holding that bottom Neo Mag in place. We've got the two uh, zip ties. We've got two, these might be ferrite. I don't know what those are, but they appear as though they're magnets. Um, we flip this over on the other side. We've got a hologram sticker with something on it. And then we've got uh, dog hair. <laughs> and that says uh, leaf green. Okay, make no mistake, man. This is planned. Okay, so it did get a little dog hair on there. I'm sure that was unintentional. Um, but, uh, you know, whatever this is and whatever this is, is definitely part. That just looks like a sticker. It doesn't look like anything. But trust me, if we talk to Jeff, he will tell us what this thing does. Or he will tell us where it came from. They're all part of the, the picture. Okay, so we're going to take this and we're going to demagnetize the uh, CD. Okay, so we will... Eject the CD out of here, okay, and then we take this, and we put this like this, and we go, let me look where the data is so I can see, because I want to make sure this is doing complete rotations, okay, we go like this, one, Two, three, okay, now we take this, we will flip it and we will go one, two, three and we will do that around like so and then we will go um one it's a pain in the ass uh two <laughs> this takes a lot of uh uh faith baby we should call this the god demagnetizer uh three Okay, so now we've demagged this complete piece here. Okay, now I'm going to take this treated compact disc and we're going to put it in to the unit. 
I can say it sounds pretty damn good. You know, I know that much. Um, how much better? It does seem like it got more clear. Like when I first put the CD in, um, I was sort of going, ugh, CDs. And now I'm like, yeah, music. So something seems to have changed. Um, so we, I'm very interested to listen back. Now I'm going to do it in more rapid succession with um, some other pieces of music. So hold on. This is a gold disc. I'm going to use a brand new Kleenex. I'm going to grab this. Again, no change in volume. so you guys can see that there's, you know, everything that I'm doing, like there's no monkey business, right? Okay, now we got, got to be able to see some sort of mark on there. I'm just looking for three, okay, so.
said a half inch from it. I have little patience for this shit, I'm telling you. I got really little patience for this. But we're giving it the old, we're giving the guy the benefit of the doubt, um, honoring the man, the inventor, and um, we're giving him a shot. Um, I seem to have heard something, at least from that, that what's happened so far. We're going to do this a couple times now so we can see see what we get It's hard to tell, man. We'll listen to these back and forth. I'm going to put the time code in the description. Um, but it seems to be changing. And, and, and how I notice it changing is it goes from something I don't necessarily want to listen to. Like it's kind of rubbing me the wrong way a little bit with something. And then it seems to turn it more into like music, you know. So let's try it with something else. Uh, hold on.
back that cough, man. <clears throat> okay, so, um, uh, yeah, that, what, whatever, that's doing something, man. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it's, 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 it's doing something and it's making it better. Okay, um, that's my feeling from what I've heard listening here. Um, is it a pain in the ass? Yes, it is. Um, does it make it sound better to me in this rig right now? Yeah, it's working. It seems to be working. Um, what I'm hearing is I'm hearing more. I, I, I hear it mainly in the vocal. I hear the vocal going from being back in, in the back and, and less clear and almost uh, uh, to coming forward and feeling more uh, tonality in the mid-range. Um, it gets a little more real. It gets a little more spacious. Um, the, the, the bottom end seems to have a little more weight to it in a very like gentle way, but, but it feels like it's got more weight. Uh, and, um, and it's cuckoo. So this stuff is um, Machina Dynamica, M-A-C-H-I-N-A -A Dynamica, D-Y-N-A-M-I-C-A, -A, probably online, MachinaDynamica.com. And you can get this for 60 bucks for the spray. I don't know how many CDs it treats. And you can get this for 450, 450 bucks. Um, or you can try and make your own and do it wrong. Because trust me, these guys don't just push it together like this. And uh, they, they try and try again and try different things and try again and they, until they get it perfect. So um, you can play with whatever you want to, but um, I would tend to trust the guys are, are just, hey man, just spend the dough if you want to, if you listen to CDs. I don't listen to CDs. So I set this rig up so that I could show Jeff's product so that I could bring you guys some interesting content and it's it's pretty cuckoo. I, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna carry on and, and, and do some more listening um, to this little CD transport.